My name is Rachel Frame, I am the Business Development Manager here at Barton's. I have been in the motor industry now for seven years and at Barton's for seven years. Um, never really thought about coming into the motor industry. Um, was in recruitment prior to coming to Barton's. So, um, Mark Beats and myself had a mutual contact and um, yeah, we sort of, Mark was looking at creating a new role for the business and we put our heads together, we met up and yeah, we decided that it'd be a good thing for Barton's to have a business development manager and yeah, me to be the face of it. Yeah, so basically Mark's vision um, when he was creating this new role was to have somebody um, in a position to be the face of the dealership. So it was a newly created position. Not many other dealerships um, or none that we both knew of at the time had had a business development person and a, and a person that would represent the business um, from business to business point of view. Uh, so basically my role was very vast, so, and it still is. So from looking after servicing right through to new cars, used cars, um, yeah, it's very vast. But um, it, is, it was a blank canvas, so it basically heavily relied on relationships and who I knew and who Barton's knew as well. The fact that I've grown up in the rugby league community and live local helped as well because um, you know we have that common ground with a lot of the clients that we would that I was initially dealing with when I first started working here. Yeah, uh, networking is probably the key um, and building strong relationships. So. Um, you know, a lot of the business initially was cold calling and, and still is now. When I see an opportunity, I will go and cold call on an opportunity. Um, but a lot of it is based on referral. After seven years, I get a lot of referral business. Uh, networking opportunities for myself are important as well. So with Barton's, we sponsor and we are heavily involved in the community. So a lot of business comes from that as well. But um, yeah, a lot of referral business, a lot of repeat business. Um, LinkedIn is probably a good uh, a good um, avenue for myself as well, and just really getting out there and um, getting to meet lots of different people from lots of different industries. Yeah. Yeah, fleet customers do have a different expectation. Um, so really it's about the relationship as a whole so fleets changed a lot in the last seven years seven years ago I could go out cold call knock on a door um, have a chat with the general manager who made the decision in buying vehicles and things like that nowadays we're um, a lot of people are very time poor so appointments are very important um, a lot of the fleet back in seven years ago fleet managers were our go-to people so we can talk about fleet business and what vehicles they've got nowadays um, the fleet managers, you know, aren't as common as they used to be and we find ourselves dealing with the likes of CEOs and accountants and things like that. So, um, yeah, the, the way we have to sell to a business is very different. So um, what's been successful for Barton's has been the whole one-stop shop and um, avenue. So looking after one main contact for looking after everything from servicing, you know, fleet analysis, finance, trade-ins, the lot has really made life a lot easier and, and fleet customers rather have that one point of contact. So having a national capability as well really helps. So customers love the fact that they can call me and I can deliver their cars all over Australia. Oh, I love coming into Buttons every day. It's fun. <clears throat> Buttons is really fun to come in and work. I mean, and, and for me personally, it, my job is, it, the day-to-day -day is never the same. So, you know, from dealing with, a, you know, um, uh, from fleet management organisations through to, you know, not-for-profit organisations through to large corporates and things like that. So my day is varied every single day that I come to work, which is great because, you know, you never know what's, you never know what's going to happen on a daily basis and you know when you do know what's going to happen you can plan for it so um yeah it is fun it's fun team is very important uh, we spend a lot of time uh, with our colleagues here at work so 
being able to have that camaraderie with um, other staff when you walk into the dealership every day and have a laugh and joke but still get the job done at the same time is really important. So I think Barton's definitely have a really good mix of that. So um, yeah, I suppose that makes it fun. Oh, definitely the people. Um, Barton's has a really good crew of people. Um, we all get along very well. So um, yeah, and the camaraderie that we have with the group, the fact that it's fun, you know, n nothing's too much to ask for when you're asking staff to help you out. We all help each other out. We are like a little family, to be honest. Just, I just don't know if I'd want to live with everybody here, but. <laughs> Yeah, yes I do. Um, Bartons do a lot of work in the local, local and greater community. Um, <clears throat> and I'm heavily involved um, in a lot of their large sponsorships that they have um, locally as well. So it, it's, it's really satisfying to know that, you know, we come into work every day, we do our job, we get our job done, but also we're helping out within the community. Um, when you see the likes of you know the people that we sponsor and their clubs growing from strength to strength every year you know it kind of puts a smile on your face to go you know what we we contributed to that fleet customers i mean any business really if you've got an abn and if you're running a business you qualify as a fleet buyer so um really i mean fleets vary you could be a tradie with you know one vehicle and you could come in here and you could have full access to all of the fleet operations that we have running here at Barton's or you could be a corporate um, corporate client that has 900 vehicles in their fleet and still have that same level of access and that same level of priority when you're dealing with um, someone here at Barton's or particularly myself. Well the one point of contact is, I suppose, the most important thing. Um, but not only that, we, we have, I myself and the business are very passionate about what we do. So, you know, we, like I said, if you only have one vehicle, if you've got 900 vehicles, you can call me on my mobile and ask me if I need to do a trade or send your car to New South Wales or North Queensland. Um, and, you know, we will be able to um, arrange that for you. But it's really about the relationship. The relationship's the most important part. Like my clients can take great satisfaction in knowing that they can pick the phone up and Rachel will, uh, you know, arrange it. Or if she can't, if she doesn't know the answer, she'll soon find out the answer and facilitate uh, whatever needs needs doing. So. Hmm. Probably a Lamborghini. Yes, and a white one. <laughs> Don't ask me what model, but I did see one over at... Um, Newstead the other day and I was like I want that car. I don't know what kind of Lamborghini it was but it was hot. Oh, and again definitely the people but when you've got a leader that thinks is really funny that you know I think he thinks sometimes that we laugh at his jokes when we're actually laughing at him but um, look it, Mark you know and Gaylene and the rest of his management team they're they're a heap of fun you know you you could, you could just have a joke with any of them. So, you know, yeah.